was going to happen to me, or how rapidly the disease would progress, I was at a loose end. The doctors told me to go back to Cambridge and carry on with my research. But I was not making much progress, and anyway, I might not live long enough to finish my PhD. I felt somewhat of a tragic character. I took to listening to Wagner. I identified with it, and still do today. the disease seemed to progress fairly rapidly. As time went by, however, it began to slow down. But what really made the difference was falling in love with a girl called Jane Wilde, whom I had met about the same time I was diagnosed. This gave me something to live for. Oh, he was great fun. He was eccentric. I was really drawn to his very wide smile and his beautiful grey eyes. And I think that's what made me fall in love with him. We were going to defy the disease. We were going to challenge the future. Jane was beautiful and gentle and seemingly undaunted by the harsh reality of my illness. <laughs> Falling in love and getting engaged was the motivation that I needed. If I were to get married, I had to get a job, and to get a job I had to finish my PhD. I therefore started working hard for the first time in my life. To my surprise, I found I liked it. It was terribly exciting, because he had been so depressed, and here he was with a new lease of life. 